okay next is after planning so you understand the problem then you plan how to solve the problem and after planning now you start writing the code okay you're writing the code that means the source code of the program and for that writing you have different uh, like many choices for that many programming languages are available in the uh, market you can uh, use any of them you can you know, choose as per your need as per your understanding what works suits for you what is easy for you what is good for you your system like all the system all the programming languages are not able to run in your system because if you have low processing power then you cannot run a, a high powered programming language so for that you need to choose a particular language which fits for your system so depending on the, those criteria you have to choose a particular language and apply that language for your in, in your planning and then execute it. Programming languages are quite alike in their basic capability. Each can handle input. So all those programming languages are having the same features, handling input, processing operations, uh, output operations, other standard functions. Each of those uh, languages have the same capabilities. Some have uh, some uh, one way to handle, another language have another way to handle that. But most of those languages gives you this, those facilities which will uh, which you need to write the code okay and uh, uh, you have to follow a particular syntax syntax means a, a proper rule to write the program okay that will be explained uh, what is the syntax and how you can do that that's the that's you have to know before uh, writing the program for that particular programming language a syntax for one language is different than syntax for another language but you must have a syntax for any particular language programming language right so which step is harder planning the logic or coding the program you don't know how to cook rice okay i give you all the materials okay can you can you cook the rice uh, no sir so what is the important thing here planning planning is very important okay like if you don't know how to solve the problem if you don't know which steps to follow in which order coding like you can solve by uh, like you can use uh, fireworks or you can use uh, wooden wooden works or you can use uh, gas oven that does not matter but you have to know the process how to do that then uh, how to cook on oven and how to uh, like gas oven or how to cook in a uh, wooden oven that matters uh, like if you don't know how to cook in a wooden oven uh, uh, but you know how to cook in a gas oven then there will be difficulty to cook that but you can do that right but if you don't know how to cook rice then if i give you a gas oven or wooden oven or coal oven does not work for you so planning is the most important and hardest job if you have wrong planning the output will be different output will be wrong output and nowadays like the python with the language you will use these languages are very sophisticated languages you don't have to bother much but there are languages early days even nowadays if you work on c if you work on c plus plus java java is still a little bit easier but if you work on c c plus plus it will be very much hard for you to understand those concepts and to understand those uh, working with those languages. Okay. Even before earlier that, you have machine language, you have assembly language. Those are even harder. Okay. But nowadays, uh, coding is not a problem. You have Python, you have many other high-level languages where everything is done. Just write your code as per your understanding. You just have, you need a little bit of knowledge and the problem is solved okay so planning is important and for planning you have different tools those tools will be explained after few slides so then the translate the code so after writing the code you have to translate the code it's not you but someone on behalf of you will translate the code like you you have written the code in english language right english language with some with following some syntax okay it's not like english language but with english alphabets with some syntax it, that language computer language or that programming language need to be converted into a particular format which will be understandable by the 
machine like say for example i don't know bahasa indonesia right now if you talk on that language with me i will not be able to understand for sure so for that what i need i need someone who will convert uh, or who knows the bahasa indonesia and also my language okay both language that person knows and you talk to that person on bahasa indonesia and that person will convert uh, your language your expression to me with my language so similarly to work with a machine first you have to write in a computer in a programming language and then programming uh, that particular person or that particular entity will convert your language into machine understandable language because machine understand only 0 and 1 okay your computer system understands 0 and 1 your computer system stores 0 and 1 so you don't think that your computer system stores a into a b using b c using c no they stores a using 0 1 j stores b using 0 and 1 they understand they they write a using 0 1 so every way they use only 0 and 1 the combination of zeros and combination of ones for you it is a it is b it is c so there is someone who convert this okay and that's the process of translation high level languages use translator program there are two translator one is compiler and interpreter i will explain in more detail about this compiler and interpreter and differences between them although in every case the syntax of the programming languages differs okay the same program logic can be expressed in different languages and different programming languages have their own representation or the, their own uh, own converter for that 